Everyone's trying to go viral, but most creators are just guessing what works. But what if you can have an AI spy on your competitors, track their most viral posts, transcribe and analyze every word, and also have the AI build a custom viral strategy for you without lifting a finger. I promise this isn't illegal. It's just one NN automation, and it's kind of unfair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build it. But first, let me show you how it works. So in this column, you're going to input your competitor's account. In this demo, I'm going to use my wife's account because she does create food content. You guys can go check it out if you guys want to. One happy bite. Next, we're gonna head over to NADN. Here's a little preview of the workflow. Let's see how it works and watch it in real time. All right, it's done. Let's check out the air table and the second table that I created. All right, here we go. So we have our description here. Everything looks good here. We have our views, likes, shares, comments, saves. The video, let's see if we actually view it. I were to open a Taiwanese space, this would be on the menu. Nice. Let's go to transcription. Let's enlarge it. Yep, it's all there. And let's see the strategy it came up with. Awesome content analysis, angle, narrative. It's even created a hook for you. Video format suggestions, captions and hashtags, suggested sound and music, cultural, emotional elements, follow-up content suggestions. Come on, guys. This is so elaborate and it only took a couple seconds. AI automation is crazy. People who aren't using this are gonna be left in the dust. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to build this. So to get this machine to work, you're gonna need three tools. I'll link them all down below if you wanna follow along and if you wanna try them for free. Number one, we're gonna be using Airtable. So go ahead and make an account and just create, start from scratch. Then you're gonna create all your rows and columns. For the first table, just create one column, call it creator. You can do that by simply typing, here I'll show you an example. So you're gonna need to know what type of column you want. For the first one, it'll be single line text and then just type in creator. For the second table, you're gonna need an username, description, views, likes, shares, comments, saves, video, transcription, and strategy. So this will be single line text like the one before. Description will be long text. So just go ahead and select that and then title it. Views, all these here from views to saves, it's all gonna be number, very straightforward. For the video, it's gonna be a URL. So just scroll until you find it. Okay, right there. Transcription is gonna be long text, just like our description. So long text, same with the strategy. The next thing you're gonna need is your automation tool. And it in. So go ahead and click that link down below and create an account. Once you're in, make sure you're in overview and hit create workflow. It should lead you to the editor page, which looks like this. Next, you're gonna click that Appify link down in the description. It will take you here. Go ahead and create an account. Once you're on this page, you're gonna go ahead and select TikTok scraper. If it's not there, just go ahead and type it. TikTok scraper. And it should be made by Clockworks. 41K, 4.4 stars. Select that and go ahead and click try it for free. So if you click the links, you will get $5 of credit that is replenished monthly. And I've run this scraper multiple times already in the past couple of days and I've only used 15 cents. So it's really inexpensive, guys. $5 credit is plenty to get you what you need. With the NNN link, you will have a 14-day free trial. And for our Airtable, I am using the free version, which is plenty enough. To start any workflow, you're going to need a trigger. There's a number of ways you can do this. One way is a schedule trigger. So let's say you want this to run daily, weekly. You can customize that right here. Days in between triggers, the time of the day that you want this to run. But for this example, I'm gonna just do a manual trigger. So this manual trigger will execute the workflow only when I tell it to. We're gonna add in our next trigger. So hit the plus sign and we're gonna need a air table. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna search a record. So now is where we're gonna connect our credentials. So hit create credential. And to get your access token, you go over to your air table and you go to your icon on the top right, go down to builder hub. Then you wanna create a new token. Name your token, whatever you want. And then you wanna add some scopes. Okay, so if you go back to your edit in, the scopes that you want will be listed here. So make sure you add those. Okay, I'll just do it to, to show you guys. Data records read, data records right. And then schema bases read, add a base, create token. This will pop up, copy it, and then that will be pasted here. I also wanna clarify that the base you're gonna be adding is whatever you titled here, which you can also rename. Once you hit save, you should be good to go. Next, the resource should be record. The operation should be search. For the base, you know, choose from list, 
you know, choose that same base. And it was a TikTok scraper. And then we're gonna go with table one. Let's test the step, nothing there yet. That is because we haven't added the creator we wanna research. So let me type in that same account. Let's execute it again. And now we have some data. So it pulled the data from our air table. So one happy byte right here. So now, so you understand this, we want to be able to feed this data, one happy byte, to the Appify scraper. How we're gonna do that is through a HTTP request. Think of an HTTP request as a way to send data to another website. So once we've added that node, it should look something like this. Now we're gonna go back to that Appify store, that TikTok scraper, right? Once we're here, we're gonna go through it. First thing, number of videos per hashtag, profile, or search. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with three, but you can set it to however much you want. For the profile, we just want a placeholder here, okay? We don't want the actual username here just yet. So I'm just gonna title it placeholder. I usually leave this blank and I usually set this to relative within the last 30 days. And I sort it by popularity. You can sort it by oldest or latest, but we want the most popular ones within the last 30 days. So this is basically what I'm telling you to do. Then just look through whatever else you would want. Uh, the only other thing I would want would be to download the TikTok video. So make sure this is toggled on, include videos. Everything else you don't need to touch. So go ahead and save. And then you're gonna want to go to the top right hand corner, slick API, API endpoint. So an API endpoint is like the endpoint of where you wanna send your data. So the data that we're sending from N8N needs to go somewhere. And we want it to go to this endpoint basically. So hit that. The one you wanna choose is run actor synchronously and get data set items. This is the one that has worked the best because this scraper takes some time. This will allow the node to wait until this scraper is done before it feeds it to the next node. So just go ahead and copy this. And if you see here, this is a post request. So if we go back to our edit in, right now the method is set as get. We wanna change that to post and we wanna paste that URL that we copied from here to there. Next, we wanna send a body, right? We wanna be able to send something to that API endpoint. And you're probably wondering, what are we gonna send? How are we gonna do that? So we wanna click this, set it to using JSON. You don't know how to code. Don't worry, this is why I love Appify because if you go back, exit out of that, and you scroll all the way to the top and you see manual and JSON. Select JSON and Appify will automatically spit out the code that you need. So basically Appify is telling us that this is how we want you to communicate with us via code. All right, so copy this, then paste that here. We're almost there. Go ahead, uh, change this to an expression. Let's enlarge it. You remember that placeholder? I titled it here, if you can see placeholder. Okay, so what we wanna do is want, we want to drag over this item here. This is called the variables. So whatever account we put into our Airtable here will be populated here. We don't want it to be the same every time, right? So by doing this, it's going to create a JSON. We want it in the quotations, okay? So you see here it says JSON.creator. And on the right side, we have our output, which will be the result of what that will be. So it's variable, okay? If you want me to explain what these variables mean a little bit deeper, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so once you've done that, let's go ahead and test this step. So hit execute. This node takes quite a bit. So, you know, grab a coffee, you know, go take a restroom break, then come back. So this node is finally done. So if you look over on the right side, you have text, you have, let's see, a bunch of data, a bunch of data. This is beautiful. We have all your stats down here and, and the media URL so we can actually view the video. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna feed all that data, all this data. And as you can see, we have three items. And we, if we click out of this, you can see there's three items here as well. So these three items, need to go somewhere so basically all this data that you see here is from one TikTok, and we have three TikToks. you can select table and I'll, you'll be able to see it a little bit better so we want to feed that data into our air table click air table then click create a record choose that same account that you have resource record operation create will be from list we're gonna use that same base TikTok scraper from the table now will be table two Give it a second. Now you have all these sections you need to fill out and you don't need to type it in manually. Okay. Make sure you have the left side in schema. That way you can drag and drop everything. So for the username, I'm gonna drag in name. For description, we're just gonna drag over this text right under ID. For the views, we're gonna go over to the stats, closer to the, the bottom. 
play count. So that's the number of views. Number of likes will be dig count. I don't know why they call it dig count, but that, that's the number of likes. Number of shares, straightforward. Share count, comment count, straightforward as well. Number of saves would be collect count. And the actual video URL might be this one. Let's double check it. Let's let's just go to it. See what clicks. No, that's the music. I think it's I think it's this one. Let's check. All right, let's go to it. So yep, that's the one we want. Restaurant. Okay, so we're gonna just drag this over to video. Go ahead and delete transcription and strategy. We're gonna add those later. All right, quick tip, quick tip. So because this node takes so long, make sure you go ahead and save that data by pinning it here. That way you don't have to keep running this over and over again every time you want to test it. But once we're here. We're going to test this Airtable and see if that data will be pushed into our Airtable. All right, let's see if it updated. So we're going to go back to our Airtable and go to table two. And we have three different videos. Um, let's check out the description. Nice. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to move on. Hold on, hold on. Let's check to see if this worked. It was it open All right. Chinese All right, we're good. Let's move on. Again, I'm going to pin this. Next thing we need to do, we need to download that video somehow. This is simple, right? This is another HTTP request. So basically think of it as like sending a link to a browser. Okay, that's what we're gonna do next through an HTTP request. So leave it as a get. So get means we're getting information back to us. Post, like we said earlier, we're sending information. So we wanna get information from a URL, this URL from that video. So we are in looking back, we're looking at our Airtable node which has all the stuff that we filled into that table, but we want that video URL posted here and it should come out with some like a binary data, which we can download or view. Okay, so let's click view and we should be able to view it. But there you go, so restaurant, that, that's what we want. Okay, so now we're looking, making sure we have three. And if you look closely, this here says video MP4. If we want a transcription, we need an audio version. Kind of complicated to do, but not really. I, basically screenshot of this and I told Claude, which is another large language model like ChatGPT, right? But it's just a little bit better with code. And I'm gonna show you what I did. So basically I screenshotted it, right? And I said, create a code for a code node in NADN that will change the MIME type to audio slash MP4. And that's exactly what it did. And I copied this and then I pasted it in my code node. So go back to your NADN editor, hit the plus sign, type in code node, delete this default code and then paste that code you got from Claude here. Claude is free by the way, okay? So just go ahead and create an account and I love it because it's great for code. So we're gonna test this step. All right, so now if you look at the MIME type, it is now audio, exactly what we want. Now we want an AI to transcribe that audio. So we're gonna go to AI, wrong one, sorry. Transcribe, open AI, transcribe a recording. To create an account, you'll need an API key. So go ahead and go to your browser and type in open AI API key. Select the first one, log in or create an account. Then you want to create a new secret key. So go to your dashboard, go all the way down to API keys and create new secret key. Tile it, whatever you want, create a key, copy this and don't let anyone see it because it will expose you. And once you're done, you go ahead and paste that here, hit save and it should go green. One thing I do want to note you may have to add like some money. And I think I added like five bucks and it's been like six months. And I've been using this a ton. Five bucks is a long way, especially if you're just like testing things out. It's not that much money. The value you get from all these workflows, totally worth it. Just put in about five bucks and that's all you need. Okay, heading back to NADN, let's execute this step. All right, so now we have three items. Text is here, check out table. Now we have the text from all three videos. Cool, let's pin that. Now let's feed it back into our Airtable, right? So type in Airtable again. Now we're gonna go create or update a record. Name one, TikTok scraper from list table two. Click out if it doesn't work and then go back. We want it to match by ID. So how do we get that? All right, so we wanna look over to our left. You're in schema and you wanna look for the very first node. So before we do that, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit just so we work on a little bit of organization. Let's title all of our nodes. This one was the very first Airtable node, and this is where we're getting the username. So I'm gonna title it, get username, enter. The next one, we are scraping the TikTok. So this will be TikTok scraper, scrapper, scraper. I think I spelled it right. Next, we will be, what do we do here? Storing stats. 
then we are downloading the video download video code node code node leave it transcribe leave it and then this one will, will be story transcription okay now that we have everything titled so now what we want to do we want to match the rows so we want the transcription to go into the correct row how we're we gonna do that we're gonna go over to our storing stats air table which is our second Airtable node. Expand it, and you're gonna see this ID. This is what we want, and this is how we're gonna let our NNN know which row we want it to go into. So drag that over, and then we're gonna drag over the text next, the transcription over here. Drop it in like that. Let's look at this real quick. Everything looks good to go. Let's execute it. All right, let's check. All righty, all right, let's open it up, make sure it's all there, correct, and yep. There it is. Okay, so this one, this first video was talking about Taiwanese braised pork. This one is also talking about Taiwanese braised pork. So it's correct. Let's check this one as well. Dumplings, also dumplings. Okay, so we're all in the correct rows, okay? Moving on. This is where AI comes in, all right? And all we need is a basic LLM. So LLM, LLM. And you're already connected to a chat model, but first, it's gonna be, by default, it's gonna be connected to chat trigger node. Let's change that to define below. We're gonna change this to an expression. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna say transcription, colon, and then we're just gonna drag over our transcription. Drag this over like that. Now we're gonna add a system prompt by clicking add prompt. Make sure system is selected. And for the message, hit expression. Let's enlarge it. This is where you can customize your AI. But for now, for this example, I just used ChatGPT to kind of make a prompt for me. And this is what I did. Create a system prompt for an AI agent that creates content strategy for a TikTok creator that specializes in Asian food. This agent will receive the transcription of a viral video of a competitor and will come up with a detailed strategy for her content. You know, plain and simple, you can kind of customize your AI how you want it, right? So I copied everything here, which was pretty detailed, to be honest. Like I would change just a few things, copy that, and then paste it right here, paste that. Then what you want to do, you want to connected to a chat model like a brain since we're already connected to an open ai we'll go ahead and use that click that and then for the model i think 4.1 should be 4.1 mini should be plain enough and it's, it's cheap well i was using 40 mini actually i think this is new for 4.1 mini let's give it a try let's see what it does let's execute this step let's see what it does not sure what it's going to do i used the 40 mini before 4.1 is new all right so it seems like it got a pretty Good amount of stuff. It's hard to read, but once you feed it back into your air table, it'll be easier to see. Uh, but everything seems to be there, like content strategy, uh, plenty of stuff. I'll show you once we feed it in, we have all three transcription were fed in and we have three different strategies for our next videos. So let's add it back to our air table, air table again, and then we're gonna go to create an update record again. Kind of the similar steps that we did previously in our air table, TikTok scraper, table two, and then ID to match. Let's open storing transcription. The same ID up here. And you can delete these, but you don't really need to. We're just gonna drag in our strategy right at the bottom there. Let's execute that step. All right, it seems to have gone three items. All right, let's check our air table. All right, it's all there. I gotta tell you, it was perfect. All right, so let's let's take a look. All right, this is pretty cool, right? Like I showed you in the beginning, has everything, content strategy, uh, like a sample hook, video format, suggested music, culture, emotional element. That's so cool, man. Perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. And yeah, this one too, all different. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole workflow. So check out this video right here if you want to see how I built an Instagram scraper. But if you want to see me build a similar workflow that includes the stats, transcription, video, and a strategy for Instagram, let me know in the comments below and I'll get that started.